Job chapter 36 Elihu said, Be patient a while longer. I have something else to say in God's defense. God always does right, and this knowledge comes straight from God. You can rest assured that what I say is true. Although God is mighty, he cares about everyone and makes fair decisions. The wicked are cut down, and those who are wronged receive justice. God watches over good people and places them in positions of power and honor forever. But when people are prisoners of suffering and pain, God points out their sin and their pride. Then he warns them to turn back to him. And if they obey, they will be successful and happy from then on. But if they foolishly refuse, they will be rewarded with a violent death. Godless people are too angry to ask God for help when he punishes them. So they die young in shameful disgrace. Hard times and trouble are God's way of getting our attention. And at this very moment, God deeply desires to lead you from trouble and to spread your table with your favorite food. Now that the judgment for your sins has fallen upon you, don't let your anger and the pain you endured make you sneer at God. Your reputation and riches cannot protect you from distress, nor can you find safety in the dark world below. Be on guard. Don't turn to evil as a way of escape. God's power is unlimited. He needs no teachers to guide or correct him. Others have praised God for what he has done, so join with them. From down here on earth, everyone has looked up and seen how great God is. God is more than we imagine. No one can count the years he has lived. God gathers moisture into the clouds and supplies us with rain. Who can understand how God scatters the clouds and speaks from his home in the thunderstorm? And when God sends lightning, it can be seen at the bottom of the sea. By producing such rainstorms, God rules the world and provides us with food. Each flash of lightning is one of his arrows striking its target, and the thunder tells of his anger against sin.